Remember Crystal Gale's hit song, Don't It Make My Brown Eyes Blue? A catchy tune for sure, but can your eyes really change color? Some people claim their eye color changes with their mood or even as they've aged. WSJ reporter Heidi Mitchell is here to take a closer look. Hi, Heidi. Hi. Thanks for joining us. We both have brown yes, eyes. Yes, right? we both have brown <laughs> eyes. That's right. I don't think they're going to change. No, now, is it true that our eye color is set at a certain age? So most Caucasians are born with blue eyes. If you've seen a baby, you know, it looks like they're blue. A lot of parents will hold them up to the light to see really what color is lurking behind there. But usually by age one, uh, the color has what they call settled. So right. you're really going to see the eye color that you're going to stick with. It can take sometimes three years. I know some pediatricians will say four years just to be safe. Right. And the reality is that our eyes are colorless. We're just perceiving the color. So you have melanin in mm -hmm. your iris, and that's what will make it dark. So you have a brown-eyed person will have melanocytes that create this melanin, which is like the pigment in mm -hmm. your skin that gives you dark skin. And everybody has some. If you have none, then you're an albino. But if you have uh, dark eyes, like we have, then we have lots and lots of melanin. So all the light that comes in gets absorbed. If you have less and less melanin in there, then the light bounces back, and, it, and the shortest wavelength is blue. So right. like the sky, your eye will be blue. And so if you have a, a few more melanin melanocytes in your eyes, it'll be green and then maybe hazel. So it's going sort of towards brown. optical illusion. All it of really it. <laughs> is an optical illusion, which is why Cleopatra would wear makeup yes. and extend to try to make her eyes look a different shape or different color. People with blue eyes, you'll often see them, you know, draped in in dark blues or whatever, and it'll amplify right. the color. So they're, of course, not actually changing their color. It's they're not. just giving them a little pop. Exactly. And the doctor specifically said, he said, you know, it's all perception. Mm -hmm. You're seeing, you're seeing kind of what you want to see, but you're seeing eye color through your brain. And so there isn't a stage in our lives when perhaps we get a little bit more pigment? So actually there can be. So during puberty, mm -hmm. eyes can darken a little bit. Uh, during pregnancy, it can darken a little bit. But only a, a hair, I hate to mix metaphors, only a hair or two. Right. So it's, it shouldn't be that noticeable, though I've read lots of posts online that say, I knew I was pregnant because my eyes were dark blue instead of green. Or, um, but what about those celebrities like David Bowie, who have one green right. eye, one brown eye? Where does that come so from? So that actually comes from trauma. And that's, it's fairly uncommon, but it's called heterochromia. And he says, David Bowie himself said, that he w ha suffered some facial injury as a child. And so it shakes loose some of those melanocytes. And so that eye turned brown. So it's not a good thing. It's really, I huh. mean, it's not a great thing. I, I don't, he doesn't see any differently, although I right. think his iris is fully dilated all the time. But uh, yeah, I mean, usually eye color change can indicate other illnesses, so maybe you want to be careful. Out. Although it looks pretty cool on David Bowie, <laughs> we must cool. say. Heidi Mitchell, thank you so much for all that.